Even famous people break the law. Many celebrities have gone to jail over the years, including rapper Jub Jub, singer Nati and actor Israel Bateke Zulu, and they have managed to come out and turn their lives around. However, there are some celebrities whose crimes were so severe they are still in jail. Briggs was convicted for the rape of his then 16-year-old relative at his rented house in Northgate in 2013. Briggs was sentenced to 15 years in prison. The victim was bleeding after the incident as she had been a virgin at the time and was in severe pain. The victim had been told by Briggs to take a bath after the rape and he had threatened to kill her if she told anyone. He also said the victim was unaware that she had been infected with a sexually transmitted disease. Briggs maintained his innocence throughout the trial and had repeatedly said the truth will come out. He has been fighting for his kids to visit him in prison. He is no longer on speaking terms with his wife and his mistress says she will be faithful and wait for him to come out. Convicted murderer former Josie FM DJ Donald Sebolai was sentenced to 20 years behind bars for the murder of his girlfriend Dolly Chabalala in 2015. Rachel Dolly Chabalala, 32, was stabbed to death during an argument in Sebolai's Soweto flat in June 2014. She was stabbed several times in the lower abdomen and died as a result of severe blood loss. He stabbed her in the lounge and then moved her to the bedroom. He proceeded to clean the crime scene and remove her bloody clothes and put her in clean clothes. He then took the murder weapon, a steak knife, and a car and went on the run for a week before he was caught. During his trial, Sebolai told the court that he had never intended to kill his lover and that she died during the fight for the knife. He says she stabbed herself. He admitted that during their short relationship, he slept Chabalala a few times, but only to get her in line. She could have survived if he had taken her to the hospital because there was one hospital less than a kilometer away from his apartment. And this was not the first violent encounter between the two. Dolly had opened a case of domestic violence against him twice before her murder. Repapich Black Afro was arrested after his wife, Kathy Modisane, was found dead on the 31st of December 2018 in a bed and breakfast in Johannesburg. The cause of death was blunt force, which could have been caused by the artist hitting his wife's head against the wall. Catherine died around 2 a.m., but the artist only alerted the establishment and the emergency services at 10 a.m. It is believed that the delay was because of an attempt to conceal evidence. When the emergency personnel arrived, they found Modisani had bruises around her eye and blood was oozing from her ear and mouth. Pitch Black Afro allegedly put a blood-stained sanitary pad on her and claimed most of the blood on her body was due to menstruation. He also hid a bloody towel and blood-stained shoes. He claims he never touched her and accused the police of beating him into confessing to a murder. The musician was sentenced to 10 years imprisonment, half of which was suspended for 5 years. The sentence means that the rapper will spend less than 3 years in prison, as he had already spent 1 year and 5 months in custody while awaiting trial. So if all goes well for him, he could be out this year. Popular Limpopo comedian Ntampu Zendra Sentetsa was handed 10 years in prison for beating up his girlfriend almost to a pulp on two separate occasions. Popularly known as Bundu, he was found guilty and convicted of one count of attempted murder, kidnapping and assault with intent to cause grievously bodily harm. The first incident happened in August 2019 when the comedian assaulted his girlfriend with a wooden stick and an electric cable. He later bent a plastic bag and placed it all over her body. The comedian then locked her inside his house for two weeks and provided her with a bucket to use when she wanted to relieve herself. The second incident happened when the couple were returning from a party when the comedian hit the victim with a rock and broke her leg. He further tore up her clothing and left her stuck naked. He pleaded not guilty and denied that he bent the victim. He told the court that the victim bent herself and further fell and broke her leg. Well, the court didn't believe him, so he is cooling off in his cell for the next 10 years. On February 14, 2018, Paralympic medalist Oscar Pistorius shot and killed his girlfriend, River Steenkamp. The crime scene was the bathroom, the door of which was riddled with bullet holes. It had been bashed open with a cricket bed by Pistorius, who claimed he had broken it down after realizing that River was locked inside. I thought it was a burglar. I believed that someone had entered my house. I was too scared to switch a light on. I grabbed my 9mm pistol from underneath my bed. On my way to the bathroom, I screamed for him or them to get out of my house and for river to phone the police it was pitch dark in the bedroom and i thought river was in bed but his testimony left so many people with so many questions like why would a burglar lock himself in the bathroom if river had gone into the bathroom to use the toilet why was she still wearing her shorts when she was short why was she crouching behind the door and why would she have taken her cell phone into the bathroom at 3 a.m how in god's name can someone be so sleepy as not to realize their girlfriend isn't in bed next to them and is in the bathroom but yet be so wide awake as to take a loaded gun and fire it through the door 
It makes no sense. Witnesses even say they had arguing just before the gunshots. He had a history of rage, violence and jealousy and from the text messages from him found in Rivers' phone, he sounded like a ticking time bomb about to explode. After initially being found guilty of culpable homicide and sentenced to six years, the Supreme Court later overruled that judgment in 2017 and gave him 13 years and 5 months in prison. He is eligible for parole in March 2023.